Oh, I hope the lighting is good um, because I'm just using day daylight. Hello everyone and welcome to Fatima's Art Show. Today I am doing a Wish review. If you do not know what Wish is, Wish is an app where you can buy lots of different things for a bargain price, so a very good price. But something you've got to be aware of is they do add a delivery charge and that boosts the price up dramatically once you put it in the shopping basket that's something I've learnt using Wish and also something else that I've learnt is that it takes absolutely ages to arrive so um, today I'm doing lots of arty things that I bought artistic things that I found on Wish and I was like I've got to buy this I've got to buy this so I'll start with the first thing which is this scarf this is one of Vincent van Gogh's paintings and it is Scarf. I wanted to find scarves like this, scarves that have paintings on them, artistic paintings, and I absolutely love it. It is a bit small now looking at it. Um, see, it's not, doesn't really have the width, so you can see the width is like literally this much. Um, but it does have the length, it has kind of, a, it is a long scarf, so you, I guess you could wrap it around a few times. In fact, why don't I just wear it? Um, I'm guessing it's, it's meant to be a scarf that you wrap around your neck like so. But obviously I'm going to attempt to wear it as a headscarf, um, so let me try that now. There you go. Is it on? I'm looking at the... Okay, so it's on. Perfect. Okay, so then I can start by showing you the other things I bought from Wish. And I've just got them here. And I'm just going to go through them. I've got a little box here and I've got all the Wish products. So I'm going to be going through them. Um, okay, so the other thing I got is these lovely colouring books. Um, so I just love colouring books. They're a bit kind of um folded kind of so it's a bit it's not as straight as i would like and also when i saw these on wish i thought they were much larger um and they were they're not they're very small um but i don't mind that because i can just put them in my little bag and whenever i'm on the bus or train and i just feel like doing a bit of colouring and um, the illustrations are absolutely beautiful and I can just sit there and colour them in. So this one is called Secret Garden. I just love the idea of a secret garden so this is perfect. And this one is Zen. Zen Mandalas, hope I'm saying that right, is beautiful. And I just think colouring in is just so therapeutic and I absolutely love it so there you go. And then this one is called Animal Kingdom and you've got lots of lovely animals and it's got little frogs kind of inserted with the nature. So the next package is this scratch notepad which I'm going to allow my kids to sort of scratch um, and create some beautiful um, drawings with. You get a little wooden, almost like a wooden skewer, and then you get that, and then you could just scratch whatever you want. So, as can you see? It's really beautiful. It's so easy to scratch the patterns, designs or images you want to scratch. I really like it and um, yeah, I think it's also cute and very small and again, something that you could just carry around with you and do some little doodling or scratching, scratch art while you're on the go. Another thing I got was this. This is sort of an electric etching tool um, I'm gonna show you footage of using it now it just needs some batteries and it looks a lot more cheaper and badly made than it looked online when I saw it so 
I'm not so sure about this. I'm not sure if it's going to work. So I'm going to try it now and see how it goes. Trying it out. Um, you just need to press a button and then it vibrates. It absolutely does nothing. It did not engrave anything. Um, I even tried it with different types of wood. Didn't work. Tried it with a sponge. It didn't work. And I would say this is an absolute waste of money. So I saw these lovely bunch of colours and they were all inside this pack and I was like, oh my god, for the price, I'm getting all these beautiful felt tip pens and they have two tips and I was like, that's great. Little did I realise that they actually just send you one, just one. I expected a whole pack. Uh, maybe I didn't read it properly, I don't know. But I hate when online things disappoint you. You think they're going to be one thing and then there's something else. Um, so on this side it is a thick tip. And on the other side you've got the very fine tip. And I can see this being really good for like anime and doing some nice sketches. Another one I got was this glow in the dark paint, which I'm so excited about trying out. So I thought this bottle was a much larger bottle. Um, again, maybe because I didn't read it properly, but yeah, when a small little tiny glow in the dark paint bottle came, I was like, oh my God, it's so small. So what I did, I took the paint and just created a few brush marks really. That's all I did. And then I went into a dark space and it worked. It worked brilliantly and I love it. Another thing I got was this. I have no idea what this is. I actually have no idea what this is. Um, so I'm gonna actually try it now and I'll find out what it is. I thought it might be, it might make little stamps because you can see it has all these lovely little, um, has all these lovely cute little images. And I was like, oh, this is going to make some nice stamps and it'll be good for the kids. So let me try it out now. I always think of the kids as well as me. Here's some paper. So I'm just going to literally try it out now. How do I use it? What do I press? Okay, so I finally figured out how to use it and when you roll it, it's just like some tape and it's just so super cute and I love it. So I saw some, found some board pens. Let me take this out of the packet. I found some board pens and these are coloured board pens. I always find board pens that are just the simple colours of um, just a few colours which are the green, red, black and blue sometimes I find but I never find purple, pink and yellow. So I thought it would be great and they're also magnetic as well and that's really good as well. So I can put them on the fridge if I want and put them on a the little um, whiteboard that I have and they will stick and then I could use them to create all sorts of images. I absolutely love that, um, that I got them in different colours. The next one is probably the best one I purchased. And this is the light box. I absolutely love it. Um, it's fantastic and it works great. It just needs a laptop to power it up. Um, but it is the best thing I bought. It works really well. And for the price, I felt it was really good. It is super thin and attaches by USB to the computer or laptop. As you can see you can trace any image using it rather than having to use a window or a tracing paper. I also managed again this is gonna match my headscarf I managed to buy some artistic socks this said men's socks but hey I can wear them as well and I've got again it matches my scarf look at that it matches my scarf the socks match my scarf I love that so the socks match my scarf and I bought a few of these socks. So I've got this one. I've also got this beautiful painting. And I have Mona Lisa painting as well. I love it. And 
I would wear these and I'm very surprised by the quality by the way the quality is really good it's very soft cotton like and I'm, I'm very pleased with the cot with the quality I thought it was gonna be very sort of cheaply made but it's beautifully made and it's you can see it's just stitched from the look at that that's just it's just lovely and it's soft and I love it I also got this brush washer let me open it I just think it's always good to be organized as an artist as anything really it's just good to be organized and I bought this lovely um, little um, brush washer and here you can put your brushes as well so you can put your place your brushes there and you can also wash your brushes so um, inside it looks like this and I just think that's fantastic Again, I'll show you a demonstration of me using this now. I saw someone online using this and I was just like this looks fantastic and it was a electric razor and I was like electric razor that just sounds like something so fantastic and I got it I got it from wish and you get the eraser and you get lots of extra pieces to use and these are great for sketching and if you want to kind of erase parts of your sketch they're fantastic like it looks like this and I'm going to be showing you a demonstration now of me using it. So I got this fine white pen and I love things that I can draw on black paper and it will show and this is absolutely beautiful. are these beautiful pens and as you can see actually you won't be able to see because I will draw something and then I will shine this light let me take this off I will shine this light and this light will show, reveal the image so the image or the writing won't show until I use this lovely light to reveal it so for example I'm gonna do a heart on my hand now to the naked eye this does not show so you can't see it there it's not nothing's there but then when I light my light oh let me see can you see it can you see the there you go it's there it's like magic it's like a magic code I, I just think this is so amazing lovely for kids as well because they could do little secret messages and then they could have their little um, secret um, pens and they could use them with their friends I love that and um, you might be able to even draw a whole drawing on a piece of paper and the only way you can see that drawing is when you shine this light on it so I really like the idea I've already given one to my daughter it originally had three um, pens inside and I gave her one of them The last thing I bought was 
Ta da! Uh, so massive, massive. I don't think I can show you it. But can you see it? The wind is blowing under it because I am sitting under a window. Um, it is. I'm, do I'm actually putting it the wrong way, wrong way around. It's this way around. Is it the right, this way around? Can you see what I'm showing you? It is a wall art piece and you can kind of cover a whole wall with it. Um, I absolutely love this piece of art and I wanted it printed for me. I thought it was more of a towel texture, like a beach towel texture, because I don't know why, that's how it looked in the ad. Again, maybe it's just me not looking properly, but um, I'm very disappointed with the quality of this. Um, the way it's sort of stitched up, can you see that? The way it's stitched up and everything, just, I just wasn't very impressed with the quality. Um, the fabric as well isn't great. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I don't know why I have bought it. I'm definitely not going to be putting it up on any walls in my house. So I need to think, find a use for this. If you know what I could do with this piece. Maybe I can turn it into another scarf. <laughs> um, let me know what I could do with it. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and I gave you an insight about Wish and the artistic products you can buy, some of the artistic products that you can buy from Wish and um, helped you decide on what to buy and what not to buy. Um, once again, thank you very much for watching. Do not forget to click that bell button and also subscribe to my channel um, if you haven't sus subscribed or sus subscribed already. <laughs> Take good care of yourself as always. Bye-bye.